If you are like most business owners, I bet you would love to know how to transform your business into a success overnight. Now surprisingly, this task is actually easier than you think, but it will require you to stop doing what you're currently doing. 99% of you are currently focused on your marketing vehicle instead of the solution to your customer's pain. If you can find a way to correctly identify your prospect's key source of pain, quantify it and provide the solution, I guarantee that your sales will jump overnight. Let me give you a quick example of what I mean. About two years ago, I was driving home late from work one night in my Lexus. It was a beautiful summer night and I had the top down and I was enjoying the feeling of the warm breeze in my hair and the smell of the trees and flowers on the side of the road. Then without a warning, bam, I knew instantly that I had run over something I couldn't see on the side of the road and I suspected that I had punctured both tires on my passenger side. I pulled over immediately to assess the damage and to figure out what to do. Unfortunately, I only had one spare tire in the trunk and both of the tires on one side were completely flat. I was in a bit of a rough part of town and I wasn't sure if it was safe for me to be there on my own. I started to feel a bit uneasy so I put the top up and I climbed back into the car. I felt my only choice was to call for help and this is where the fun began. Because my car was pretty new I wasn't a member of any roadside assistance club. I had to look up companies on the web browser of my telephone and call the numbers one by one to see who could help me. I called the first five numbers and I found out that you know each of them made the same fatal mistake. They spent the first three to four minutes on the call telling me all about their marketing vehicle, their certifications, the types of emergencies they handled, their pricing, their features and benefits, blah, blah, blah. Now keep in mind that this whole time I'm alone in my car, it's dark out, and I'm in a rough part of town. How interested do you think I was in answering questions about how I found them, their pricing or their features and benefits? My number one concern, my number one pain or challenge right at that moment in time was what? That's right. I need help right now. I didn't want to waste time listening to stuff that was not important to me and I didn't want to wait all alone in the dark one minute more than I had to. I was willing to pay whatever price I had to in order to get guaranteed help as soon as possible. And I probably would have paid extra to have someone stay on the line with me or check in every few minutes until the tow truck and help arrived. You must remember that the part of your brain that decides, your old brain, is very self-centered. It's only concerned with your survival. Its prime objective is to alleviate your pain and keep you alive. Not surprisingly, I hung up on every one of those five companies who didn't try to solve my pain in the first 30 seconds. I didn't feel that I had time to waste, and neither do your prospects and customers. Not surprisingly, neuroscience has proven that you and I will spend more time and energy and money trying to avoid pain than we will pursuing pleasure and comfort. That's why it's critical to focus on your customer's pain, not your features and benefits. Anything other than identifying pain, quantifying it, and curing it is old school marketing, and it doesn't work effectively to compel a quick decision. So with my story in mind, how would you go about determining what the primary source of pain is for your audience? Pain can come in many different forms. Sometimes pain is purely financial. This type of pain is usually quite visible and tangible in the eyes of your prospect. They are losing something by not having the solution. And your customer, if they're a business owner, he usually has some sort of KPI or goal to measure that pain. If the pain is financial, your job is to nail down the cost of it. Remember, once you identify the true cost of a problem, the price of the solution becomes irrelevant. What about issues like poor quality, declining market share, new competition, deregulation, and higher business risk? These, in, these issues are largely strategic in nature. These are going to be more difficult to draw out and you will need lots of open-ended questions to get your potential client to open up and explain why these problems are keeping him up at night. And finally, we've got personal pain. These are often secondary result of not being able to solve the financial or the strategic pain. Personal pain affects your prospects 
personally. Things like stress, anxiety, work-life balance, being away from from home for too long of period of time, lack of support, and pure, you know, poor communication. Those are all good examples of things he needs a solution to right now. If you want to improve the success of your business overnight, the best way to do that is by identifying, quantifying, and curing the pain. That is the essence of what I call sales seduction. Your customers don't care what you have to give them. They care what they're losing right now. When you stop focusing on where you're advertising and describing your features and benefits and start focusing on curing your customer's number one source of pain, your sales will skyrocket. You'll have more customers and more revenue than you can handle because your customers will have an urgent need to end their pain with your solution. Anything less means it's going to take you forever to be successful.